with breast cancer. And if you did not know, it's October 1st. It's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And uh, we have an oncologist with us right now, Dr. Katisha Vance, excuse me, okay. uh, to talk about the importance of getting screenings, be it at the office or self-screenings at home. So let's first talk about uh, screenings in the office. When sure. should people start getting those? And not just women, obviously, because men can get breast cancer too. Sure. What we will talk about today very generally is women. Mm -hmm. um, women, obviously, are much more likely to get breast cancer than men. Right. And what most of us will recommend is that women start at the age of 40 okay. with a screening mammogram. Okay. And then as far as self-exams at home, those can start earlier and so how often should those happen? Those should start earlier. Um, it is a bit controversial about how um, much self-breast exams will help a woman, but most patients have probably heard that when you are around the age of 20, you should at least start to check to see what your breasts feel like. And so most of the studies have told us that it is not important for us to teach a woman necessarily how to do a self-breast exam. What we want for you to learn how to do is to be comfortable with what your breasts feel like if there is something that is different. I will recommend to most women, especially if they are premenopausal, so if you haven't uh, stopped having your period, then you should do your breast exam about two weeks after your menstrual period. Okay. okay. And then and what are you looking for? Because they said you, if you do them often, you know what your breasts look like, exactly. how they feel. So you should be looking for any changes, correct? You should. And the most obvious thing that people think of is I'm looking for a mass in right. my breast. But we should also recognize that women will sometimes have things that are much more subtle. They can have skin changes in the breast or around the nipple. Mm -hmm. um, they can have a heaviness to the breast. And I've had patients before who complained of nothing else except that their breasts felt heavy. Mm -hmm. The other thing that's very important to emphasize is that early breast cancer may not present with any symptoms or signs at all, wow. which is why getting that screening mammogram starting at the age of 40 is so important. So obviously getting screenings done, uh, self-exams, what else can people do to lower their risks? So we know that the most important risk factors are things that we can't change. Right. So we can't change genetics. our genetics, mm -hmm. we can't change our gender. Um, but there are some modifiable risk factors. So I tell women all the time that it is important to make sure that you are maintaining a healthy and active lifestyle. Um, if you can get in 150 minutes of exercise a week, and I know that sounds <laughs> like a lot. It's possible though, it's but possible. But 30 minutes a day for five days out of the week, that still gives us two days a week off. <laughs> um, if we make sure that we are maintaining a healthy weight, those are things that are extremely important. Um, not smoking, and that is not just for breast cancer prevention, that is pr for prevention of okay. many cancers right. and heart disease, so right. very important. And then we like to talk to women about alcohol intake, and that can be a bit of a, a touchy subject, <laughs> as you might imagine, but what the evidence tells us is that if a woman has one or less alcoholic drink a day, then that lowers her risk for developing breast cancer or even recurrence if she's a breast cancer survivor. Well, thank you so much. We appreciate your time and Absolutely. your tips, and hopefully people out there learn something really important today.